Looks like a Christmas beetle caught up in amongst the web that a black house spider has made amongst the toys there. This is just at the back of our, our kitchen window. Maybe the beetle will escape or maybe the spider will come out and claim the Christmas beetle. In fact, there's a smallest board of spiders there. There might be some baby black house spiders as well. They're so small I can't quite tell, but Big Mother is lurking just between the back end of the uh, garbage truck, if that makes any sense. I think she's going to come out and do something quite savage, as spiders do. Well, that beetle's got to the top of the, the garbage bin there. I think that's a dicky toy. That's been laying around the, the back here for years, and this is why the spiders have made a nest here. I'm still yet to see a decisive strike by the spider. I'll tell you what, the redbacks would have cleaned up that beetle in a snap. There's a spider on the front of the Queen Mary 2 as well. I'm not sure whether that's a male version of the Black House spider, but going along the shelf here, I can see all the stuff that this spider who lives in the garbage truck has been cleaning up. There's all of the remnants there, but if I go up to the battle, which really isn't a battle because it's just the beetle struggling in the web. I'm not seeing any spiderific action yet. Well, the beetle's putting up a very good struggle, but the more it struggles, the more it seems to be entangled in web. It's pulled a lot of web down now. And I've got a feeling the spider's actually preoccupied with another feed. Uh, that's in the section where, well, between the, the, the driver's cab of this truck and the rear of the truck and the beetle oh man it looks like it's actually going to make an escape here oh it's fallen back a bit the fate of this beetle this is the thing um, and nature can deal different fates here the beetle can escape but the beetle's still struggling to to get that escape the beetle's coming around to the the driver's cab of this other truck it's actually one of those really good toys that, that i think it was a nascar toy it falls apart breaks apart when you crash them. A fantastic toy and they've just been up on the ledge here obviously collecting dust and spider webs and spider nests. I'll tell you what that beetle it, it puts up a big fight but the more it struggles in the web the more web it gets caught around it and it's right next to the spider's nest. Extremely dangerous place to be dancing around like a crazy beetle. Well, the beetle's mustering a lot of strength here, my crikeys. It looks like it's about to deploy its wings in Gonzo fashion, because Gonzo was a beetle as well. Wow, it's doing a monumental job of using all its strength to go, oh no, that's the wrong way to go, beetle. Oh, wow, I just can't go, oh no. That's not the place to go, Christmas beetle. That's extremely dangerous. You're right next to the spider's lair there. But look at the way all of the web has gathered up. Uh, it's still struggling there. But it, uh, for a moment there, I thought it was going to just fly away. In gonzo fashion. Had the wings out. But no, it's uh, decided to go the other way. It's, it's got a really good knack of getting caught up into more web. So uh, that's not a good sign that this beetle knows what it's really doing. And well, it's a good sign of how effective the spider web is. Now it's trying to come towards me here across the other truck. Crikey, I don't know why that black house spider hasn't pounced on this. Mind you, it does have a feed at the moment, so maybe it's totally preoccupied. But there are other spiders around and we haven't seen them come out either. And if I was the beetle, I man, I'd deploy those wings and I'd be flapping like crazy. It's times when it looks like it's just about to be free of the web. Oh! My crike is it looks like it's moving freely now. If only it can move away from the spider nest and the web, it might walk out of this free. If it does, that is remarkable. Oh no, it's just having a dumb beetle brain moment again. It's going in the wrong direction. It looks like it's got web all across, across its little face there. And it's going to move along the truck here. Oh no, that's the wrong way to go. Oh, wings deployed. But we've got web across our back, which hampers wing deployment. Well, oh, try the wings again. No, well, oh, we're going back towards the spider nest. No, beetle, beetle, can you hear me? Do beetles have ears? Oh, wings! Crikey, yeah, it makes Gonzo look like something that was very intelligent. This beetle doesn't seem to be 
that bright. It's going back towards us. Oh, my goodness. It's fallen backwards. Wings. 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 And going towards a spider nest. I can't keep my eyes off this thing. The only thing we haven't really seen is, is, is the spider come out and do its spidery things. But the way this beetle is going and it's not making itself... Well, it's not making its job any easier by the, the, the clowning around that it's doing. It seems to be totally dumb. Like I said, it, oh, wings! Okay, yeah, it made Gonzo look like a genius, this beetle. Come on, what are you going to do? Maybe the web across its little face there is, um, is hampering its decision making. Mind you, I don't think beetles have got very big brains. We're trapped in this endless loop of, of crawling back up into the web and deploying wings. And I suppose if you get a good wing deployment and some flight, maybe you can fly away. Because beetles do fly. And while you're there, you mean, you've always got the threat of that spider coming out and doing the spiderific things that black house spiders do. And when they do their action, believe me, they, they're, they're quite a brutal spider, as most spiders are. But this beetle is, um, is, is giving itself a very hard time in the way it can't escape from the web. Really, it's, it's more of a story about how effective the spider web is. And this is a very typical sort of thing uh, around Christmas time that you're going to get where I live, and that is Christmas beetles. And that's what the spiders feed on. They love things like this. Well, the beetle is um, is struggling on there. It's been caught up in that the cab of that truck area for quite a period of time now. It just sort of keeps going backwards and forwards in that spot. Okay, well, we're actually in a new spot now. We're down near the wheels of this truck. And, well, I can see web across the... Oh, no, that's the wrong way to go, little beetle. I think this beetle's IQ isn't... Oh, isn't that high. Tried to fly then. Fallen back on itself. It likes doing that. One good flight, and really, it's free. But it's got to get those wings out. It's, it's got to get some strength up and fly. Oh, it's fallen down. It's free. It's fallen straight into the sink here. And uh, maybe this beetle can be given a second chance in life. Maybe this hanging pot plant here would be a nice little home for Mr. or Mrs. Beetle and I'll just deploy the beetle down there somewhere. There we go. A nice happy ending and uh, beetle has survived and probably gonna walk straight into another spider web. Because this beetle seems to have a radar for webs. This beetle, uh, it's nutcase. It's gone straight into another spider web, which is in this hanging pot plant. Oh, it knows how to probably free itself up. It's going to probably, yep, okay, free again. Okay, we can all breathe a, a sigh of relief. It looks like Beetle is happy in the soil there. Hopefully it'll dig down and uh, keep out of the webs. No, nah, that's never going to happen, is it? I've had a few people ask me, Leo, what's happened to the Red Back Spider Roundup videos? And the, maybe the best way I can explain this is, well, they only work if I can find a Red Back Spider. We've had this really strange and different start to summer. Everything is lush and green, and I can't see any sign of Red Backs out in the backyard. Mind you, I did find a very small Red Back Spider setting up inside a metal pail, but don't you worry, it got the good night sister real fast. I'm sorry to love you and leave you. There's a good night sister. Justed. One very curious observation I've made by looking at the red back spider lures, without using the word trap, is I'm finding the cement spider, or grey widow, or whatever it's called, has set up home inside those lures. And maybe you'll remember I sprinkled some of those cement spider spiderlings around the backyard last spider season. So maybe this is the outcome of me adding those spiderlings out the back. And I can give you a sneak peek into what would be part 7 of the Red Back Spider Tank 3 episodes. And we're at the thin edge of the wedge. There's two dominant female Red Back Spiders in the tank. There were some black house spider spiderlings added 
a couple of weeks back, but they have basically become food for the redback spiderlings who have been the last ones in the tank. What astonished me is, is how the many numbers of spiderlings that were inside this tank decayed rapidly over just a few weeks. And I thought that was going to happen because I'd seen that same thing happen in Spider Tank 2. So there you go, there's a bit of a teaser sneak peek into the future of Spider Tank 3.